Welcome to another Tech Tuesday at FiTech. Today we're going to cover the wire harness on the FiTech Ultimate TPI kit. One of the key components of the TPI kit that makes it different from most other kits is that it's able to work with a computer controlled distributor. It's a, ECU is similar to our LS kit. The computer controlled distributor that we're compatible with is the small cap. It uses these two connectors. If you happen to have a large cap with a coil inside but has the computer control, you can adapt that to the same two connectors or just change to the small cap distributor and use the external coil. The Fitech Ultimate TPI system features a large harness quite similar to that of an Ultimate LS kit. There are a couple different configurations of the TPI kit to choose from. The 38350 and 38351 kits include a transmission connector for the torque converter lockup control. The 38352 and 38353 versions of the kit feature a transmission control harness. Finally, the 38351 and 38353 kits include a second wideband oxygen sensor and harness. In this breakdown, we will be taking a look at 38353, the version with transmission control and dual O2 sensors. Taking a look at the instruction manual, you can see a labeled image featuring the ultimate TPI wiring harness laid out. Each component is numbered with a corresponding chart that lists what everything is. Starting with number one, this is the ECU connector. The ECU of the TPI system is in a housing just like that of the LS and connects in the same way. Next after that is the positive main power wire. Then you'll see the red key on wire after that is the accessory harness, which features a couple different wires. This includes the yellow brake wire, blue fan wire, brown AC wire, green fan wire, black speedometer wire, and white tachometer wire. The fifth thing you'll see on the harness is the orange fuel pump wire. After that is the ground to the engine block. Then you'll see the transmission connectors. These would be used for either the torque converter lockup control or transmission control, depending on which version of the kit you have. After that is the passenger side O2 connector. This one will only be found on the kits that feature two O2 sensors. The ninth item will be the fuse and relay box. This chart from the instructions explains the function of each fuse. After that is the distributor wire. This plugs into the small cap controlled HEI that is on later model TPI engines. Then there's the EST bypass. When this is disconnected, the computer-controlled HEI will spark only at base timing. Next is the NOC plug. A NOC sub-harness is included with the kit to connect it to the NOC sensor. After that is the driver's side O2 sensor. This one will be present on all kits. The 14th and 15th items are for the passenger and driver's side injector harnesses respectively. They just clip in like other sub-harnesses do. After that is the connector for the coolant temp sensor. Next is the connector for the intake air temperature sensor. Number 18 on the chart goes to the MAP sensor. After that is the connector for idle air control. Moving on, there's the connector for the throttle position sensor, and after that, the connector for the vehicle speed sensor. The final item on the harness is the handheld connection point. The chart also lists three additional sub-harnesses. These are going to be the transmission connector on 38350 and 38351 kits the 4L60E or 4L80E connector, and finally, an adapter to connect the VSS connector to an older style VSS connection. So there you have it. That's the FiTech Ultimate TPI kit's uh, wiring instructions. Kind of gives you a clue as to how to do it, what things you got to look out for. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave them below. You can contact our tech support. Hope you join us again on another Tech Tuesday at FiTech.